We photographers have a lot of things to focus on. No, I'm not talking about that type of focus. I'm talking about the stuff we have to pay particular attention to. In the next few minutes, I'm going to make my argument that we may in fact be focusing on the wrong things. Let's make one thing clear. It all matters. But how do you sort out what matters from what matters most? There are a lot of variables. There's subject, background, light, equipment, time, location, metering, shutter speed, aperture, ISO, or is it ISO? You know, the list, it just goes on and on. You can find countless tutorials and videos, lectures, articles, and blogs based on any one of those topics, all of which are very important. After all, what is photography without a subject? What is photography without equipment? Does equipment matter if you don't know how to use it? Like I said, though, it all matters. The aforementioned variables are the fundamentals of photography. These are the basic principles that carry us through this beautiful, lifelong hobby. We should all be spending time focusing on the fundamentals. Michael Jordan famously said, get the fundamentals down and the level of everything you do will rise. He is absolutely right and that certainly applies to photography. Master the basics of exposure, and you won't have to think too much about the shutter speed and ISO when that elusive subject is finally in your viewfinder. And remember, there's no fast path to success. However, education, preparation, and practice will certainly put you on the right path. Like I said though, all of those things matter. The question is, what matters most? I submit to you that there are three things that are more important. I refer to them as my why, my who, and my what. Let's start with the why. Why are you doing this? Why are you waking up early in the morning to go photograph ducks? Why did you just spend a month's salary on camera equipment? Why are you laying in the sand along that frigid river? What's your reason? Let me share with you my why. It's simple, guys. I love birds. No, listen, I love birds. I love seeing them. I love hearing them. They're like little treasures. There's just something magical about birds. It's a beautiful thing to hear the song of a sparrow. I want to see all of them. I want to photograph all of them. It doesn't matter how rare or how common. I just love them. I love birds. But that's not all. I want to share with everyone around me the beauty of these little creatures. It's one thing to tell people about birds. Ah, oh, but it's another thing to show them. My why is a sincere love of birds and an overwhelming desire to share it with others. Okay, let's talk about the who. Who do you share this beautiful hobby with? Who shares in your passion? Who can you count on to get equally excited about squirrels as you do? Licking. I wonder why. He's a boy. How can you tell? <laughs> the usual. He's kind of like uh, a know-it-all. 
<laughs> my who is undoubtedly my wife. She's always been by my side and for reasons I don't understand, my biggest supporter. Recently, it's gotten better. As most of you may know, Katie recently got a new camera. It's been wonderful to witness her renewed enthusiasm for photography. I figured out how to turn the sound Sometimes off. Sometimes I think she gets a little carried away. For instance, she went and bought camouflage. <laughs> Goodness, look at us, we match now. What'd you say? I said my dream finally gave true. What's your dream? We're twins. We're dressed alike. Beyond having a companion that tags along on your adventures, they can be a great source of encouragement and inspiration. As we all know, things don't always go as expected in this beautiful hobby. It's always great to have someone that gives you just a little bit of perspective. So why aren't we seeing any birds? What's, what's going on? It's 3 p.m., like the worst time of day, and it is, um, the weather's been weird. So how many pictures have you actually taken with that camera since, uh... Maybe 12. No, but I've taken, like, um, several dozen of you. Perhaps your who is not a friend or a spouse or even a relative. Perhaps it's a community. Over the past year, you, the viewers, you've become part of my community. I'm often thinking about you as I venture out and I'm so grateful that you decide to join me each week. Now let's talk about the what. The what isn't exactly what you might think. For me, it's what's next, or better yet, what's your vision? Where are you going with this hobby? Now listen, don't think vision means you have to have some sort of business plan or clear path to the Discovery Channel or National Geographic. What next might simply be a grand adventure in a national park. It might be a goal to photograph a new species. We decided to get away from everything. We we're tired of taking pictures of the same five birds and two squirrels at the park. Haven't seen one animal, but it's been, I'd say pretty fantastic. This is one of the most amazing views on the planet. I think I'm gonna go get my camera and just sit up here and wait and see if we see any elk. Tons of elk poo, tons of evidence of elk and deer everywhere. Perhaps your what next is a lust for a new piece of equipment. Either way, always looking forward keeps the creative juices flowing. I believe vision is a distinguishing quality that separates the casual photographer from the passionate hobbyist. There's something magical about igniting your imagination and your wisdom to create something beautiful. What spark will ignite your next grand adventure? Once again, struck out. We got zero, zero birds. If that was a strikeout, let's have nothing but. <laughs> I love it. Listen, everything about this was beautiful. This was not a strikeout at all. This was probably one of the most beautiful moments we've had. I could, I can, I'm honestly, I'm never gonna forget this. I'm never gonna forget it. Oh, what the heck? Bottom line, focus on the fundamentals. They're important, but understand what matters most. Why are you doing this? Who are you doing it with? And what's next? had ice to throw rocks on growing up. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah.